And there we go. Okay, cool. Well, uh, oh, at least OPGG is working, so I guess we have that as a minor consolation prize. Uh, Savage Siren, why, hello there. Thanks for watching. Uh, and everybody else, uh, yeah, looks like everything is dead. Uh, you can see Golden Glue actually DC'd in our last game, so... Oh no, Saskio had a little bit of trouble, just twisted advance uh, into a knockback backwards off the Arcane Smash. Beacon Wolf trying to Arcane Smash somebody, but uh, uh, I don't know if he's going to have the damage or the engage potential that he needs. Can't really dash in there. Oh, tag solo to proc the Sigil of Malice, but... Uh, Solo King goes in, goes back out, and nobody dead. Remarkable ability to disengage there for Saskio, and uh, somehow making out of their alive. Game sound is really low, by the way. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Saskio gets the last auto attack on it. Apparently that's how you do it. But yeah, uh, Cloud9 Tempest in a little bit of a struggle currently. They got crushed top lane, uh, and I do want to make sure. But it, the the top lane's not really where their big problems came. Uh, their struggles came from the mid lane. Yasui was feeding super hard. You super hard. Um, and uh, yeah, top lane, Saskio, uh, like I said, got crushed earlier. So, top lane won pretty hard for Cloud9 Tempest, but mid lane is where the uh, the difference is. Peek and Wolf decided to pick this one day to be a god on LeBlanc, 12, 2, and 5. Jeez. Are you in Challenger? I feel like you're really good. <laughs> not, quite not quite Challenger. One day, the dream. We'll get there eventually. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Back to the matter at hand. So Cloud9 Tempest versus AKA. And uh, I want to put... Uh... That link in there, and then a copy. And there you go. Uh, all right, so Lulu mid Y, that's the, the fallback champion for Yasui. Uh, I honestly think he has much better options, but he's trying to make this more of like a protect the AD carry common. Like this is full on protect the AD carry. Like you can get any bruiser you want off of your AD carry with a twisted advance. And then you have, you have Yasui, Sheep, and Hard. Three super AD carry buffs uh, that won't actually matter at all. So. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a lot that's carrying this and unfortunately uh, not really able to get off the ground. Needs a last whisper in the worst possible way. Uh, and yeah, Cloud9 Tempest kind of getting smashed. Uh, do they, any of these guys have competitive experience? All of them have competitive experience. Rabbit, do you think that Evelyn has potential anywhere other than Jungle? No, Evelyn is a bad champion. Uh, because any champion that is like full on offense better have a way other than walking up to you to deal that. Her ult does no damage. Sure, it's a cool slow, but you really can't legitimate having an Evelyn on your team anymore. Uh, Alex Ish was trying to make it work in the mid lane. It just doesn't. So Evelyn, for all intents and purposes, uh, try to pick another champion to play. Thought Baby only played Nidalee. He does only play Nidalee. Uh, but turns out Sejuani is still actually an okay champion. Uh, AKA an okay team uh, there as well. And uh, they're going to take down all seven outer turrets and of course the uh, one inner turret. All six outer turrets and the inner one. Evelyn is coming back. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Uh, Anella stream. Do you stream some of your games sometimes? I feel like watching challenger players is probably a little bit, uh, a little bit more interesting. So that's what we're going for. Do you know what team OG is? Chunky and Trance have that tag. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, Odyssey Gaming. That's the uh, the Turing team. Mm -hmm.
All right. Sorry about that uh, brief delay. Have to watch stream on mute because I'm recording our game. Oh my... Wow. Wow, Liara. Uh, Rabbit, what do you uh, rank the new Coast 5 team NACS? I think they're the strongest team in NACS. I, I don't think there's really too much... Uh, that I, I mean, they're, they're mortal. They can lose to, like, the tippity-top teams. But otherwise, they're just made They're just made for NACS. Like, they're... I don't see, see any way uh, they wouldn't uh, come out in first place. They're just ridiculously strong. Um, so there you go, Snowy Bro. Oh, a flash away. No hit on the Glacial Prison. Inhibitor does fall, but here comes the engagement from Cloud9 Tempest. So looking at big block up in the back. Tar's going to get so many buffs to himself, but he's not actually firing. Just get a nice Nunu ult to uh, try to keep the... the uh, Rest of the team at bay, but Hard just or Lod rather just doesn't deal enough damage at this point. He's even going for Bloodthirster, so no Last Whisper uh, into a team that's starting to have a bunch of armor items being built up. So uh, I don't know about that. Oh, Kazu! Hey, what's up, Kazu? Thanks for watching. Kazu, one of the best uh, English-speaking Japanese commentators out there. So thanks for watching. Um, who is the uh, C9 roster? Um, it's uh, possibly Conquan, but they're using Biofra. Oh my gosh, Pekin Wolf. You can't just do that to people. Holy. Um, support Evelyn with Captain Boots. Why is the minion wave so fast? Liara, that's actually terrible. Um, but uh, yeah, the Coast roster, it's uh, Gate, Chris, Don't Mash Me, Welcome to Heaven, and either Biofrost or... Uh, Con Quan as the support. Uh, still kind of trying things out. But yeah, Cloud9 Tempest actually feeling some struggles here. They, uh, they don't really know how to deal with an AD carry carry comp that doesn't have a strong AD carry. Uh, I mean, he's doing like okay, but he's bought an Elixir of Wrath desperately realizing that uh, his ability to carry this game is going to be highly limited, uh, especially when Yasui is... Uh, okay, well, we were watching Yasui's untimely demise. I kind of wanted to see uh, the LeBlanc kill. Let's go watch Pekin Wolf do some do some dirty work. Uh, Laz just like, oh, what's this? Uh, I'm not sure what I should be doing here. Uh, Pekin, on the other hand, uh, is just like, no, you uh, you actually cannot steal this dragon, uh, and that is uh, that is one uh, one dead new new. Wait, where did Billy Boss go? Billy Boss is a sub for like every team ever, so I don't think Billy Boss is actually gonna play. Savage Siren, do you think that Karma will still have a chance in the mid lane after the new changes made to her kit? I haven't actually seen most of the new changes to Karma. Uh, I don't think there's a place for Karma because there are already too many just plain strong champions uh, in the meta. So you have to control the meta champions uh, before you you know think about you know other random picks like Karma. Uh, so I don't really see if uh, see a place for Karma, but uh, you know that's just me. Inhibitor number two about to fall here. Peking Wolf just auto attacking it down. Saskio uh, there to help it out. But look at the huge glacial prison landed by Pebe Chow. He's in there. The culling coming out on the hard. It's actually Saskio there to claim the kill. JL might just fall. Rocket hits him and he will drop down. Can Lod carry this? He's got air effect auto attacks. No, Sheep's gonna die. Lod though super, super strong. Is he gonna run off into this one? Super mega death rocket forces the flash out. And Lod can't find any more exit kills, but a 3 for 2 exchange, not terrible, but 2 inhibitors down is actually pretty bad. Oh, Snowy Bro, yeah, it's not Welcome to Heaven, it's uh, Super Metroid. Uh, apologize for that, it is Super Metroid, not Welcome to Heaven. Welcome to Heaven is on Lotus uh, Esports. What do you think about the reworked Ash? Her Q is so cool, but in a realistic team fight without a minion wave to charge it up on, there's probably no way as an immobile AD carry that you can really get up to five auto attacks before your steroid kicks in. Now, granted, when Ash is in, she's like super ridiculous. Like, jeez, is that a lot of power? Uh, but especially when you combo with things like um, like. Uh, Black Cleaver, like uh, Runan's Hurricane, you're putting out some some crazy deeps. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think that Ash is really going to come back into the meta because of an aggressive change. You need to give her some defensive option other than Enchanted Crystal Arrow. But she can charge it with W. Kazu, 
Yeah, sure, but when you have to charge things up on an AD carry, that's why you'll never see Jinx fight in minigun form. The idea that you have to charge something up is never going to be as strong as putting on your rockets and just, you know, throwing out a big damaging uh, auto attack and backing up to reposition. So... Thank you, Snowy Bro, for bringing the memes that I knew my chat was always missing. Whoa, there's the engage on the Solo King. Tankiest member of the team, probably not a good person to focus. Solo's still actually pretty strong there. And look at Lot, he's just able to free deal that damage from the back line. Uh, Bebe Chow's actually the guy that's going to give the reset over to Lot. He's going to get a cleanse there on the exhaust. And so he should be able to find more kills coming in here. Peek and Wolf, oh no, the double bounce! You gotta watch out for the peak and wolf damage. This guy is ridiculously strong. Thankfully, Lod stays alive. And wow, he gets the reset off of a rampage zap. What a play there. Lod just MVPing it up here at the end of the game. Uh, oh, there's the flash, the blade surge. Lod gets hit by a Q, but nothing else. And he is actually forced to flash away there, so no flash summoner spell means that even though it was a good fight for Lot, I'm not sure if he'll be able to keep this game going on much longer. Now, Bones Jr., one crit could spell his untimely demise, but, uh, oh, wow, Peek and Wolf. Man, these crits coming out are actually ridiculous for Lot, so he's got the ability to hard carry this, but have it Cloud9 Tempest hit their power spike just in the nick of time to stay alive. They don't have any Nexus turrets left, and they're soon to not have any turrets at all if this bottom lane turret goes down, so... Whew, I don't know. Five guys or Steak and Shake? Dude, that's the question I'm trying to ask Morpheus Games. I'm all about the Steak and Shake. There's one, like, two, wa two minutes walking distance from my house. Uh, unfortunately, Five Guys Fries are located right next to a boba shop, so it's like... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a struggle, so... Uh, one of life's many uh, difficulties. And so now we can see how tanky JL is. The answer is pretty tanky. Turns out Solo King is pretty tanky too. But look at how much Bones Jr. just chunks him down. Baron still up and Cloud9 Tempest forced to disengage. Piercing Light still lands. Look at those Flame Choppers. Perfect to zone it out. Chain latches on the lob but won't, uh... Well, it did slow him down. But oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Uh... We're going to keep an eye on Peek and Wolf. Got to watch him at all times. So, uh, we're watching the chase up here. Apparently the, uh plus button doesn't work either, so... Peek and Wolf is like, well, I don't find any kills there, but where are his kills gonna come from? Oh, wait, how... How did he get the kill credit for Janna? Did he ignite? Was, was that in it? No, he didn't even ignite. What? How does Janna die here? Okay, sorry for disrupting the flow of the game, uh, but we have to see how Sheep actually dies here. So, Sheep is pretty low. He's sticking down. Oh no, it's Luton's Echo! And then Lod hits... Wait. How did... No, 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 no. Oh, plus minions. Oh, because the... Oh, my gosh. So, what you're telling me is that Luden's Echo hit Sheep. That gave the kill credit to Peek and Wolf when the minions finished... Uh, okay, all right. I'm... Um, <laughs> the minions get the kill credit. <laughs> wow, that's a next level. Uh, that is that is fairly next level. Damn.